Today on Wednesday, June 21st, 2023, the Midsummer Fire Festival begins and it's everyone's first chance to get the Flame Warden slash Flame Keeper achievement in WoW Classic. This achievement is required to get the Reigns of the Violet Proto Drake, which is a very rare 310% move speed mount, one of only a few mounts with this speed. And it's also purple, which has to count for something. There's only a limited time to take advantage of getting this mount because the Midsummer Fire Festival ends on Wednesday, July 5th, and if you don't get the achievement, you'll have to wait an entire year to get another chance at it. So this is your warning to get this achievement completed. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do that. And a shout out to my friend Ukul, who asked if I was gonna make this video and convinced me to make it when I said no. Thank you, Ukul. To get started, I recommend keeping in mind that we need to complete the Fires of Azeroth and Desecration of the Horde slash Alliance achievements, which involve honoring the fires of your faction across Kalimdor, Eastern Kingdoms, and Outland, but also extinguishing the opposite faction fires in those same continents. So as we go through the other achievements, keep in mind if there are any fires nearby, you should grab them on your way to the achievement that we're currently talking about. These fires are located either within town or just outside of it. In some cases, like Booty Bay, they're on the beach for some reason, which is kind of far away from town. Guess they wanted to catch some rays of sun or something like that. So to honor a fire, all you need to do is talk to the NPC and to extinguish a fire, all you need to do is click on the fire itself and that will extinguish it. All right, with that out of the way, let's get to work on the first achievement, Ice the Frost Lord. To complete this achievement, you and four of your friends will need to delve into the slave pens of Zangar Marsh and summon the Frost Lord Ahoon. Like many other holiday events, each player can summon Ahoon once each day for a total of five chances for loot. Once Ahoon is summoned, phase one begins and you'll need to watch out for ice spikes that appear on the ground and you're also going to want to be careful because the ground is going to be slippery and you can fall and get stunned for a few seconds. And finally, there will be ads that get summoned, some non-elites and some elites you're going to want to take care of. You'll definitely want a tank and a healer for this experience. Experience. Now, after you defeat all of the adds, phase two will begin and you have a limited amount of time to burst the frozen core. So this is a great time to use all of your cooldowns. Try to burst this down as fast as you can in order to one phase him. Now, if you don't manage to destroy the frozen core within enough time, phase one is actually going to start up again. You're going to have the ads spawning and you basically just have to repeat, kill all the adds, and then you have another chance to finish off the frozen core. Do that successfully and Ahun will be slain. Now, once Ahun is dead, you'll need to make sure to loot the big chest that just spawned and get the shards of a hoon right click on those shards and then the quest will begin turn that in right behind you and then the achievement is complete now the next achievement i recommend you go after is the king of the fire festival which requires you to extinguish the fire inside each capital city of your opposing faction this can be difficult on pvp servers and even pve servers since it's hard to get to some of these without encountering guards for alliance you'll need to go to thunder bluff orgrimmar undercity and and Silver Moon. For Horde, it's of course Stormwind, Ironforge, Darnassus, and Exodar. Just remember how these cities are connected so that you don't have too much trouble getting around. For example, Undercity has a translocation device which can teleport you to Silver Moon. Thunder Bluff has that new Zeppelin which takes you to Orgrimmar. And the same for Stormwind to Darnassus, there's a new boat. And don't forget that the Ironforge tram can get you from Stormwind to Ironforge as well. And remember, while you're in these capital cities, go outside of them to the starter zones and extinguish those fires too. It's a lot of traveling to do with this holiday. It's going to be very time consuming going from town to town. Now each time you extinguish a capital city fire, you'll receive an item which starts a quest. After you get all four quest items, you will be able to turn them all in and a new quest will appear, which is a simple accept and turn in quest rewarding you with actually a really cool looking helmet, but more importantly, it completes this achievement. All right, so we're actually down to our last two achievements. We'll do the harder one first, Burning Hot Pole Dance. In order to complete this achievement, you'll need to purchase all of the Midsummer Fire Festival set items. You'll need number one, the Mantle of the Fire Festival, which costs 100 blossoms. You need the Vestment of Summer, which costs 100 blossoms. And the Sandals of Summer, for some reason, the shoes cost 200 blossoms. That means you'll need a total of 400 blossoms in order to purchase the full set. So at this point, if you haven't completed the Fires of Azeroth and Desecration of the Horde or Alliance, I would complete that in order to get your 400 blossoms. Now, each fire you honor 
honor will give you five blossoms and each fire you extinguish will give you 10. So in total, all of Kalimdor offers around 170 blossoms. Eastern Kingdom offers around 180 and Outlands offers 105, which totals to over the 400 blossoms you need to purchase the full set. Now, once you've got that set equipped, go to a pull and get dancing. After 60 seconds, this achievement is complete. And for the final achievement for this holiday, Torch Juggler. For this achievement, you'll need 10 torches. So go to a capital city, do the juggling quest, which will reward you with five torches, and then go purchase five more torches for five blossoms each, which is a total cost of 25 blossoms. Then go to Dalaran and set the items as an easy to use hotkey, like one, two, three, Q, E, whatever. <laughs> and basically spam use them where your character is standing. Do this over and over until you've caught 40 torches and then this achievement is complete. That one's pretty easy. And once you complete this final achievement, that's it. You successfully completed the Flame Warden or Flame Keeper achievement and, and you should check your map. If you've been following along, this was the last achievement for the Violet Proto Drake. A great reward to celebrate a full year of clickbait. I mean, holiday fun. It's been a full year and uh, I'll be streaming this event live later today in the evening or on the first day of the fire festival whenever you're watching this so tune in if you want to watch me finish off the last achievement and pick up that violet proto drake and hopefully it's your final day for it to do it too i hope you're getting your violet proto drake too it's been an awesome journey making these videos and completing these achievements with you all it's it's been a lot of fun honestly and i hope to embark on another adventure with you soon but until then thank you for watching as always and i'll see you soon take care